Hello YouTube. Here today we have a Mirian IM278. It's a dosimeter. It is a always on, always measuring type. It is IP67 sealed according to their website. Um, has uh, these nice relatively large diameter, um, well large wristband. It's also a decent sized, uh, about an inch and a half in diameter. So you could wear it on the outside of like a, a uniform without too much of a pain. Has some serial information and a barcode in front that's covered for this video. Um, I actually put a new battery in a couple weeks ago and it already looks like it's partially dead. Speaking of the batteries, um, it's always on, always measuring. If we open up the back here, it's sealed with an O-ring. Um, the main system battery is just a CR2450. And then under these three screws, there's actually three smaller batteries for the real-time clock and for holding system memory. Um, but the main battery seems to be what you need to replace often. Now, this device is billed as a battlefield or occupational dosimeter. It's definitely designed for reading high levels. Now it is sensitive. There's actually six different detectors in this unit. There's three neutron detectors and there are three gamma uh, ray detectors. It can detect gamma ray pulses um, as well as relatively small to large amounts and then differing values of neutrons. You can find a couple of spec sheets on third party websites online that'll give you some of the specifications of the instrument, but in general, it, it can measure a wide variety of things. That being said, it does measure in centigrades, which is a relatively high dose uh, unit. So in America, the NEC regulation exposure for a radiation worker is five rems per year. That works out to five centigrades per year. Which means if you're using this in your job and these numbers are ticking up at, at any rate more than, uh, you know, about a tenth a day or a tenth a shift, your exposure is already relatively high. So this is probably definitely build at battlefield type of situations or I suppose radiation workers that are in hot zones for shorter periods of time. Um, definitely getting closer to your occupational limit for the year this this could be uh, a useful s system uh one of the other interesting things because i was looking at what could i do with this uh it appears to use both bluetooth and near field communication so they mentioned an app i reached out to the company uh, i was immediately hit by the sales uh force basically a paywall of you have to pay for their app to talk to the thing so after fiddling around a little bit on my own, I came to the conclusion it uses both Bluetooth and near field communication. So typically that's going to be referred to as an out of band authentication system. In application, we'll use NFC to put a encryption certificate and set up the Bluetooth information on the device before it'll then connect back to that phone. So you can't really easily connect this to an embedded system or a custom application yourself. You're really stuck paying for whatever the company has to offer. Um, now, if reading your readout on the screen is good enough for you, uh, maybe you'd be interested in this. Although, if you can even buy one directly from them without the app or support contract, that's probably also a, another question someone could ask. So that is the unit. Uh, in general, it's, it's interesting. I would never purchase one. Uh, I came across this one incredibly cheap. So I thought I would take a look and see what I could use it for. As it turns out, from a hobbyist perspective, not that useful for, for too, many, too many things. Um, and even though I came about it cheap, I did verify this one is functional by putting it on a uranium source. It took, um, I ended up leaving it there for two days uh, because exposure to, to lower level sources, I didn't notice the numbers tick up. Um, it took me thinking a little bit uh, about how much a centigrade is before it hit me. Like, yeah, you have to expose this a lot before you actually see the numbers move. So I think that is this video. I'm probably going to try and turn this thing around on eBay or, or see if anyone else is interested in it. Um, but if you have any questions and I still have it, feel free to reach out and ask. Thanks guys. Bye.